All right, folks, we have a brand new firmware update from Mod Retro for the Chromatic. All you have to do is make sure you have the latest firmware updater installed on your machine, whether it's Linux, Windows, or Mac OS. Plug in your Mod Retro Chromatic through the USB C port on the bottom, and it'll download the latest update for you. It takes like two minutes, and then you just turn off your Mod Retro Chromatic, turn it back on, and you're in business. So, with this update, you now have streaming support via Discord. So you just select your chromatic from the devices list and you'll be able to start streaming. This works on Windows and on Mac OS. And they've also, they fixed a couple bugs, like there was a real-time clock issue with certain games like Pokemon Crystal that got fixed. Um, you know, miscellaneous compatibility improvements, so that's always good to see. But the big one is the sharing of the streaming if you want to do that. I don't have Discord, I don't do any of that, so I, I won't be able to share that with you myself, like exactly how it works. But it looks really simple from what I've been reading. Now, if you press your system button on the side, you can now go over to the system part of the menu and see where it says version 3.2. You press A and you get a little bit more detail now that's new with this update as well. They also added some uh, version display. So they simplified, how do I phrase this? They've updated the default palettes for when you press A plus B plus right and when you press A plus B plus left. And they attribute this, they give a thanks to a user named RayJT9. They thank him for the contribution. That's uh, that's pretty cool to see. So, yeah, that's what we have cooking now with the brand new update. So, love seeing that this device is still being supported. And, you know, even though it's really hard to get one, unless you want just the gray one that you can get through uh, GameStop. But, and that's still a good one to buy. It's an, man, colors aside, the console itself is awesome. So, yeah. Get the latest firmware, update your device, always good to stay up to date when you have a stable release like this, and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.